Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Today we are going to be talking about the new Blend Bunny Cosmetics Primal Palette. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about the conversation that sprung up around this palette and the brand's response to that conversation. So what am I talking about? So the conversation that I've been seeing around this palette is in regards to how it's very similar to a few of the other palettes that Blend Bunny has come out with. So it's a little bit repetitive. It's not as unique as people wanted it to be. So Blend Bunny Cosmetics has four palettes that they've come out with since they started as a brand. And I actually own all four. So the only one that I'm not going to bring up in this video is the Dollhouse palette because I really don't believe that that is a similar color story whatsoever. I think it's very unique. Since I own all four of the palettes, I wanted to show the three that were the most similar uh, just so you can get an idea of what they look like in person. So the palette that we're going to be talking about today and doing a look with is the Primal palette. And it is gorgeous. It is a gorgeous rainbow palette but it's gorgeous regardless right so the other two palettes that they've come out with that are both i think can be considered rainbow palettes the first one is the surge palette and it is definitely much more of a darker slash neon color story so i think it's actually pretty different but if you look you can probably see a few colors that are similar to each other in the two palettes the other palette that they've come out with that I think could be also considered a little bit similar is the Blends palette. And I got this one on sale and I haven't even used it yet, um, which I need to because it's gorgeous. But it is a rainbow matte palette and it looks like this. And again, when you hold up the two of them, you can probably see that there are a few colors that look a little bit similar. Now, as somebody that reviews makeup on her channel, and as someone that loves this brand and will pretty much buy anything they come out with, uh, <laughs> I wasn't disappointed at all when I saw this palette launch. I thought it was gorgeous. I love the shades. This row of shimmers just looks absolutely fantastic. Their mattes perform really, really well. So I was excited to see the wide variety of mattes in here. But even I noticed that there were some similarities between other palettes that they've come out with. But again, my job, kind of, I haven't made money yet. <laughs> Hopefully one day it'll be my job, uh, but it's to review new makeup, right? So even though I did notice there were some similarities in the palettes, I wanted to pick it up because I wanted to review it. Now, not everyone reviews makeup for, uh, well, I guess it's a hobby right now, but <laughs> not everyone has a YouTube channel where they talk about all their palettes, right? If you're an individual that just enjoys makeup, you might not have had anything from this brand before. So I can see you wanting to pick up this palette because it's a gorgeous palette. And again, just so you can reference it, this is the palette we're referring to. Um, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring up a post that Blend Bunny actually posted on their Instagram account because I thought it really addressed the issue very, very well and very, very clearly. So I'm gonna go ahead and read what Blend Bunny Cosmetics posted. And I'm also gonna go ahead and post the picture that they put up where it has all four of their palettes together, where you can see that there is a little bit of overlap between the four palettes. Though again, I feel like the Dollhouse palette does not fall into this. It's a pretty unique color story, but let me go ahead and read what they posted. Let's talk about overlap. Overlapped colors will happen in palettes. I've tried extremely hard to avoid blatant repeated shades, but as I go along, especially with as colorful as my palettes can be, I find it nearly impossible not to have some overlap even if it's just similar tones. I was feeling overwhelmed by the comparisons and speculations of the palettes I've released when it hit me. Not only is it something all brands have to do, overlap shades, tones, and hues for each individual project, etc., but brands also have to do this, treat each palette like an individual separate project. It works because not everyone who buys one palette will feel compelled to buy the next. Some people weren't interested in blends but loved primal. Some love Surge but didn't love Primal. Some love Dollhouse and may love the next theme and color story. As a brand, you have to keep going, creating, designing, and moving. Just an interesting, honest trickle of thoughts from my brain to your feed. Now, I thought that was so incredibly well put because you are gonna have the makeup reviewers seeing these palettes. They might have all four of the palettes and they might be a little bit disappointed in the overlap. 
but this palette is not just for makeup reviewers. It's for your everyday makeup consumer who may be interested in this color story more than one of the others. I just, I thought that was so well put and I think it really helped highlight the issue that you can see sometimes in makeup reviewers. They don't buy makeup like a non-reviewer would, right? <laughs> They're consuming quite a bit of makeup products and you're gonna see overlap when you are reviewing every single thing out of every single brand. For the individual consumer, this is not gonna be an issue. They're probably not gonna have all four of the palettes. And even if they do, they might have just bought them because they really, really enjoy them. And there's enough uniqueness, in my opinion, that you can buy all four and be really happy having all of them in your collection. Now, there are a few colors that I can see within the four palettes that there's a little bit of overlap, but for me, it's so minimal that I don't see it being a problem. Even though I have all of the palettes in my collection, I know I'm gonna use them for different things. Heck, one of the palettes is all matte, right? So it's very unique in that kind of sense. Then you have the Dollhouse, which is more light pastel-y toned, and I think probably the ones that are the most similar would be the Surge and the Primal palettes because they do have a little bit of a darker note to them, but again, you're still getting quite a few very unique colors in there and they're beautiful. So I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. I thought it was very important to highlight the difference between a makeup consumer and a makeup reviewer because there is quite a difference between those two people. It's a gorgeous palette. So I'm excited to try this today. Stick with me, we're gonna do one look. We're not gonna do two different eye looks because I have to go run a bunch of errands after I film this, but we are gonna do one look and uh, just try out the palette. I haven't touched it, I haven't swatched it. Um, I'm probably not gonna do swatches on camera this time because I spent a lot of time talking already. So let's just get into look and, and try it out and see how we feel about it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've primed my eye using my, <laughs> my favorite Give Me Glow Primer in Parchment. Um, also very excited for the launch coming out with them on the 29th, which is their two new palettes, which are a mix of new and old shades and their bronzers. I am all over those bronzers. I'm gonna pick a few of those up. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got sidetracked. But we primed one of the eyes and I'm gonna go ahead, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like, I'm kind of just feeling purple today. So we're just gonna go in with the purples. I'm gonna start with putting winged all over my upper eye. And what I need to do with primer, I need to be, need to be better about putting primer up higher on my eye. So I've done that today. It makes such a difference when you use primer. In my opinion, it makes a huge difference. So one thing that I love about Blend Bunny is that their mattes are absolutely fantastic. So even though I normally, I don't love pastel-y colors, right? But their pastels are so good. They're so good. See, like that went on absolutely flawless. That was, <laughs> it was a gorgeous color. Okay. Let's go ahead and go in with Exotic and just layer that under the eye. Oh, in case you didn't see, in case I was moving too quickly. Um, and I'm really glad that the brand responded because I think it's important to stand up for your brand, you know, and obviously I agree when you have a rainbow palette, like the ones that they have put out previously, it's going to be hard not to repeat shades. So I am actually... I feel like that's totally acceptable as long as your palette is still unique enough to stand alone. And I feel like all of their palettes are very much unique and stand alone. So what I've done is I've just kind of stamped the color into the lid versus um, using a brush and kind of fluffing it out. These are very pigmented shades. And for me, whenever I use something that's, I think you can consider this a pressed pigment. I'm not sure if they're calling it a pressed pigment, but for me, I feel like it definitely works as a pressed pigment in that it is just super, super pigmented and it works better when you're doing the stamping technique. Um, I've just found that doing the stamping helps to prevent any sort of fallout and it just really helps lay the color down in an even layer. So I'm not getting any sort of patchiness. I am uh, absolutely loving this color. Uh, this gorgeous. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, maybe we'll do pink with this one. Let's go into Feral. So we're gonna use one of the shimmer colors now. 
and I'm very excited because that is a gorgeous color. Actually, no, let's use potent. Let's use this orangey color because that's really pretty. I mean, they're all really pretty. <laughs> let's see. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. So this is definitely, it seems like it might have a little bit more of a darker base. Uh, which I love. So I'm just kind of stamping that in there. One buddy just trying to come out with some great stuff, so. Okay, so that orange worked really, really well. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go into Instinct, so this dark purple, and I'm going to kind of fluff that into the ends of it. Yeah, just darken it up a little bit, kind of adding a little more depth to the look. Not too much, not too much. Oh. I actually feel like a makeup artist using this palette because it's so beautiful. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's do something underneath the eye. I think I'm just going to go back with Exotic and go ahead and put that underneath my waterline down there. I'm going to put some more in like the corner just to kind of bring it together. So I have gotten absolutely no fallout at all. Wow, okay, that's gorgeous. I don't know what to say. I am really, really, really liking this look. I think it is stunning. I feel like I wanna go to the club or something, you know? God, I feel like I just sounded so old. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'm gonna put on eyeliner and mascara and come back and just talk about my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the final look. What do we think? I think that I definitely went pretty dark for a uh, grocery store run kind of look, but I love it. I think all these colors performed so, so well. And I think, again, the secret is really pressing those super pigmented colors into your lid versus kind of trying to blend them out. Um, it just worked better that way. I did do some blending though with the darker purple instinct, just in my outer corners, and it still worked really well. So you could probably go either way, but I, I still like pressing it in versus blending it out. I still think that's the way to go. There was no fallout at all in this palette. So the fact that they're this colorful and pigmented and there's no fallout speaks a lot about the formula. I think it just says so many good things about the formula. Um, the shimmers are beautiful, but I really do feel like Blend Bunny reigns when it comes to their mattes. Their mattes are amazing. There was no patchiness with any of them, and they're just so rich and pigmented. They are just, uh, I mean, they're just so good. I really enjoy the look that I did. I enjoyed using this palette, and I am, again, super, super, super happy. There was no fallout because then I didn't have to fix my face because the foundation is already on. I didn't want to have to go back and change that. Now, just again, referencing the conversation we had at the beginning of this video, I think it's very important to realize the difference between a makeup reviewer and a makeup consumer. There's a difference there, right? And I'm so happy that Blend Bunny posted something on their Instagram about it because it's, it's worth noting that it's really hard to make an entire palette of this many colors and make every single one of them unique, right? Especially with how frequently things come out in the beauty space. Um, so I feel like the overlap was really minimal. I, th I think it might be a little confusing if you just look at the palettes and you're like, oh wait, they're all rainbow and not really take a good look at them. But I'm super glad I picked these up. I still think that there is enough unique shades between all of the palettes that I'm happy to have all of them in my collection. And again, it's kind of what they were saying in their post. If there's one that speaks to you, then maybe that's the one you want. You probably are going to be picking up all four of their palettes. <laughs> or maybe you're like me and you just love makeup. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I enjoyed filming it and I enjoyed talking about this brand a little bit because it is really a brand that I like quite a bit. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.